for the first time with an audience and seeing the thousands of faces, and in my case, children, who were there to see the show. It was just, I mean, it was, to say it was magical is, is an understatement. It was, it, was, it was really, it was a dream. And that's another reason why it's such a delight to come here, and why no matter how much work you have to do to put the show on, it's, the audience is so loving and available and excited and you, I feel like I can do no wrong because they, they just, they embrace us so wholeheartedly. And it does, I feel like every show here at the Muni is kind of a party for them. And therefore it's a party for us on stage. Yeah. And that's really rare and it's, uh, it's a gift. It's very tangible. It's an odd thing because it is big and the people are not near you. But I think their amount of, I don't know if you call it concentration, but their involvement and what's going on on the stage, you really do feel it. And I don't know, there's something about, it's an odd thing to say that the theater plays intimately in a certain kind of way, but as far as the energy transmission, it actually does. Yeah. And you think there are people who are in Cleveland, you know, <laughs> but they actually feel, you feel them up there. But again, it's that thing of having to open yourself up to it. You could stand there and it would be like there's nobody there on a certain level too. But I think once you realize they're there, they see you, you're not invisible because they're far away, and the other way around, it really, you really do feel it. Absolutely. Monty Python and the creator of Spamalot, the musical Eric Idle. Thank you, and goodbye. 